Meanwhile, in Afghanistan, a deadly day for two U.S. Marines killed during an insurgent attack at a camp shared by the U.S. and Britain. The Taliban are claiming responsibility for the violence in that camp in southern Afghanistan. And Atiyah Bawi is in Kabul. Atiyah, what can you tell us about this attack? And we should say that we were showing some video of Prince Harry there. Of course, it wasn't the correct video, but of course, he's the one who's there at that base. Absolutely. That is the same base that Prince Harry is located. He arrived just a little bit over a week ago. What we do know about the incident that occurred last night is that it started around 10 p.m. About 20 insurgents were able to breach the perimeter of Camp Bastion. That includes uh, Camp Leatherneck, which is the largest U.S. Marine base here in Afghanistan. There are around 10,000 American, British, uh, Danish, and Estonian troops, along with their Afghan partners, a base there. It's incredible that the Taliban were able to breach this base because it's one of the most heavily fortified bases in Afghanistan, also one of the largest bases there. The Taliban say that the reason that they attacked Bastion was primarily because of the anti-Islamic film that has been causing outrage primarily all over the Muslim world, but also because Prince Harry, also known as Captain Harry Wales here, is based there. And last week when they found out that Prince Harry was here, they sent out a statement saying that they will try to capture him and abduct him as priority number one, but but if that doesn't work, they said that they would try to kill him. We don't know if it's completely connected, but that's at least what the Taliban are claiming. Alex? Okay. Atiyah Bawi, thank you very much for that update there from Kabul. We appreciate that.